Well, Brinkley, welcome to our welcome to our show. Thanks for having me, Gray. It's a pleasure. It's wonderful to have you here. Let's see how many people have been over to see Megabots. Raise your hand if you have seen Megabots. Massive number. Nearly everyone here has actually been out there. For the viewers at home, tell them what is Megabot. So a Megabot is a 15 foot tall giant fighting robot. So we took the mech out of video games and movies. A lot of us have grown up playing these video games. We decided it would be awesome to actually bring these things to life. Uh, so it's a 12,000 pound giant fighting robot. It shoots giant cannonballs out of its arms. And what we want to do is we want to get eight of these things inside of football stadiums and have them play the biggest, most epic game of paintball ever. Battling each other as teams or individuals? So we're actually thinking about doing both. Uh, so our first uh, scheduled battle is about two and a half years away. Um, what we're thinking is to have multiple games that are going to get played inside of the arena. So there'll be one-on-one -on -one combat, there'll be some sort of free-for-all combat, there'll also be some other uh, form of competition, you know, uh, who can aim the best, who can uh, be, you know, be the fastest to actually pilot these giant uh, megabots. Because there are two human pilots uh, inside actually driving and shooting these things from the inside. So How do you find those people? That's a great question. So we're, uh, we're going to actually turn to the crowd uh, we're going to be having a, a competition, global competition, to actually uh, identify uh, who will be the Megabot uh, teams and pilots. So that means people watching at home and people here, we could be looking at, would you call them a driver or a warrior or what's the term? Uh, we, we've, been, we've been saying pilots. Pilot. Yeah. So we could be looking at a Megabot pilot right now and not even knowing it. Yeah, there's probably a few Megabot pilots here at Maker Fair 15 because it's sort of the same crowd that I think is going to get into giant fighting robots. This is it. Isn't, this is almost like a cluster of your demographic. It's true, yeah. Like earlier we were asking uh, the fans over in the Megabot tent, uh, who here wants to be a Megabots pilot? And almost everybody, uh, all, all the kids were, you know, going crazy and screaming. So All the kids here, who would want to be a Megabot pilot? Pop your hand up if you'd want to be a Megabot pilot. Here we go. Keep an eye on them. How good would it be? Uh, can I apply? You know, you might be a bit old. Damn. Um, but, um, I'm 18. Okay, yeah, you can actually apply. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Lies. So, how did you get to this stage? What were you doing before this? How does one, how does one come about to be building a 15-foot-tall robot? So, uh, the dream of Megabots sort of started in the imaginations uh, of the co-founders. And so, uh, our CEO, Captain uh, Guy Cavalcanti, uh, came uh, out of Boston Dynamics, where they were building legitimate uh, you know, emergency response robots. Um, one thing that uh, he realized is that uh, he wasn't able to actually show these awesome things to his friends uh, close up. They were always just existing as videos on YouTube. Uh, so, you know, uh, he thought, you know, what better way to actually bring these things uh, to the public, uh, you know, rather than having a giant fighting sports league that engages the public and allows people to actually participate. And so the dream is to, you know, stop building robots behind closed doors uh, and actually you know, engage uh, the public in the world and, and bring them in front of people and, and entertain the masses with them. And, and in the meantime, encourage uh, the next generation of roboticists and engineers uh, to engage uh, this type of, of making and this type of advanced robotics uh, engineering. Yeah. So I saw over there, I saw one of your Megabots destroy a car. What was it shooting and how was it shooting it? Right, so uh, the Megabots are actually powered uh, uh, through a hydraulic system. It's got 20 uh, hydraulic actuators on there. Uh, and then we've got basically the world's largest potato gun cannons <laughs> as arms. Uh, so what we do is we actually uh, uh, put compressed air into each of the cannons. Uh, one of the cannons was actually, uh, we crowdsourced. We had a, a design competition uh, with our friends at Autodesk. Uh, so Autodesk has been sponsoring uh, the Megabots crew. Um, and we use Autodesk software to build the robots, and we had a competition so that engineers around the world could actually uh, submit their designs. Uh, and so one lucky winner uh, from New Hampshire, actually, um, had his design for the left arm cannon chosen. And so what we did is we took that design that he designed in Autodesk software, and we actually built it and installed it on the Megabot. Wow. Uh, and then we shot a six-inch uh, gigantic uh, paintball. Uh, that's filled with water and uh, some cornstarch and some food coloring. Uh, and then it 
absolutely demolishes uh, a car. It's shooting at 120 miles per hour. So Jeez. it's a paintball. It's a giant paintball, but rest assured, you know, you don't want to take one of those without uh, a lot of armor on. And so the two, pi two pilots? Right, so there's two pilots, two pilots in each megabot. And they're inside a cage. When they get hit by the paintball, does it splatter upon them? Oh, yeah. Actually, if you check out uh, megabots.com, we have some footage up. Uh, so one, uh, one of my co-founders, uh, Commander Sprocket, uh, has a video on the website where he's taken tons of paint, you know, in, in, uh, through the, the cage on the Megabot, and it's absolutely devastating. When he gets out of the Megabot cage, he's just dripping in paint, and so that's part of the fun that we hope to have, you know, eventually with these giant robot battles is that, you know, when you get hit, you're going to be sopping wet with paint and, yeah. and goo. Has there been interest from the sports TV world? Yeah, we're, we're talking to a lot of, uh, you know, entertainment groups right now. So, um, you know, anytime that you're going to create a brand new sport, it's, it's going to be, uh, you know, not as necessarily a really simple thing to do. But uh, there's been tons of interest. When you call somebody up and you say, hey, I'd like to speak with somebody about a giant 15-foot tall advanced robot, uh, people tend to take your calls. They're and listening. So you're getting the meetings? We're getting the meetings. Yeah. yeah so uh, w what we say, you know, as, as far as the, the three co-founders of Megabots is, there is, there is no try. There is only will and do. So. <laughs> that is epic. And point, speaking of the do, you can only do it with the support and the sponsorship. Have Autodesk been your major sponsor? This is true. So um, Autodesk, is, they've been fantastic uh, you know, uh, partners with us. Uh, they've they've uh, helped us to you know, host these design competitions. Um, they've you know, uh, provided $10 million worth of tools it's incredible. Uh, and software, uh, and, and they've been uh, absolute um, criti critical for the, the birth and the life of Megabots thus far. So can't thank them enough. Fantastic. For the people out there who want to see more, where can they go? Right. So um, if you're here at Maker Fair 15, you can always check out the Megabots performance. It's going to happen at 430. And uh, check out Megabots.com and Megabots Inc. on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Brinkley, it has been an absolute pleasure. Appreciate it, Jay. Good man. But I also love filmmaking, and that was kind of my dream, was to make films about science. Well, wonder no more, as this project is going to put a life-size pineapple at the bottom of the ocean. 